pronunciation, vocabulary and syntax or grammar. So let's go one by one. So the first language skill, listening. Second one, speaking. They are the primary skills, basic skills. And number three, reading. Now I will tell you what are the texts included within the reading text of Great Ten English. So the text included in Great Ten English course are stories, poems, letters, dramas or plays, advertisements, news stories, notices and, and so on. And writing skill has been mainly categorized into three parts. The first type of writing is controlled writing. And this is especially the grammar under which the following items are included. The first one articles and you have ideas about articles a and the no articles like that second topic of grammar is prepositions and you also know this the use of at on in by between like this and third topic of grammar is question tags the fourth one is subject verb agreement which we also call concord, C-O-N-C-O-R-D, concord or agreement. And the fifth one is transformation of sentences. Uh, transformation, by transformation we mean changing the form of one sentence into another one. For example, changing positive sentence into negative, negative into positive, assertive into interrogative, interrogative into assertive, like that. And the sixth topic is tense. Seventh topic of grammar is direct and indirect speech. And people also call it direct or indirect speech as well. Eighth topic of grammar is voice. And you are familiar with the transformation of active voice and passive voice and vice versa. And the ninth topic of grammar is connectives and common name for this word is link words by using and but because of although you can join two clauses and to make complex and to make complex and compound sentences the tenth topic of grammar is conditional sentences there are many conditional forms and in our class 10 practice the most common one is what we call if sentence and the last topic of grammar is causative verbs okay this is control writing type one first and under writing we have second category and that is what we call guided writing and guided writing is again divided into two parts guided writing first and guided writing second or guided writing one and guided writing two in guided writing one the topics included the text included here are number one writing instructions and directions this means just giving instructions follow this and follow that and are giving directions how to get to different places and sub second topic of guided writing is obligations and prohibitions uh, so many rules and regulations come under this and third topic is writing posters or producing creating posters so we see many posters on walls of the street and houses ok 
ओके एंड द फोर्थ टॉपिक इज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक टेक्स्ट मैसेज इज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक टेक्स्ट मैसेज इज राइटिंग ईमेल आल्सो कम्स विद इन दिस एंड द फिफ्थ वन इज राइटिंग और प्रोड्यूसिंग पोस्ट कार्ड्स यू कॉमनली यूज ड्यूरिंग द फेस्टिवल टाइम्स राइटिंग पोस्ट कार्ड्स विश इज कार्ड फॉर योर रिलेटिव्स एंड द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ गाइडेड राइटिंग इज एडवर्टीजमेंट्स और producing advertisements and the eighth one is messages of condolence when your relative or somebody else dies then we produce we write a formal messages of condolence or letter of condolence and the eighth topic of this one is message is of congratulation congratulation message this is the formal one and the ninth topic of guided writing one is menus so this is menus is food list when you go to the restaurants hotel the waiter first gives you the menus and you choose the food item and order the waiter right menus and the last topic of guided writing one is recipes how to prepare different food stuffs different food items in your kitchen recipes and guided writing second or guided writing two the topics include it in the list are interpretation of charts graphs tables pictures diagrams and lists second one short skeleton stories you must be familiar with this because from grade 7 grade 8 such kind of questions are often asked in your examination and the skeleton form some clues some hints are given and you are asked to write a complete meaningful story with title and sometimes moral as well right and the next topic is invitation letters writing invitation letters when you want to invite someone for some thing or some on some occasions then you have to produce this invitation letters and another one is thanks giving letters or so normally we say thank you letter and letter of regret letter of regret is letter of apology when we uh, do or make some kind of mistakes then immediately we have to apologize with other people this is the best manner of human beings and the next one news stories and news stories and this is very useful in uh, newspaper so when we read uh, different english nepali other newspapers we can find a lot of news stories with the headline byline deadline it will come later on and the last writing of guided writing second is paragraph writing or writing a paragraph in a writing a paragraph on a given topic and the last part of writing comes free writing free writing uh, no clues are provided so no guidelines are here that's why they are called free writing and the first part of free writing is dialogue writing or creating a meaningful situational dialogue between two participants second one is writing paragraph on personal experience third one is writing short stories and the fourth one views and attitudes when sometimes 
we get some debatable issues, controversial issues at that time, we have to express our views from one side and views and attitudes or opinion writing. And free writing part two, second poem is writing letters and emails, writing newspaper articles, writing reviews and especially for grade 10 reviews, refers, book review and film or movie review. And the fourth one is writing brochures and leaflets and writing brochures and leaflets. Last one is the most difficult topic for writing every student feels is essay writing and under essay writing as well there are many types of essays descriptive writing descriptive essay writing narrative essay writing comparison contrast essay writing argumentative essay and so on so this is this is the advertisement time commercial time Oh, so I'm saying, Nani, Zotolopat, Jago locked down your ill, Sujadaya Zagute, my little Tajo, G. Max Taya, Sogometer, Tapocotona, Ile Bile Savona Tana, La Chileguiana, Mika, Nawa, Muti, Lata, Motigu, Musua, Ashka, Table, Mutuwa, Na, Lopa, Tropiguiana, Ale Togo, Madashi, Magago, Cotata, Wayaguka Tadazo, Cola, Tuka, Daya di Sale, my little Tajo, locked down your ill. जी फाइगो लेंगिंग हिसाया बारे ना ठाटा वयागू ताताजो लोकडाउन या इले जी फाइगो लेंगिंग हिसा दाइगो चुले नानी लेंगिंग हिसा दाइगो छे जले मिसा वा मस्ते ता दागो यों जन्य इंसा बलातकार बेशा बीडे या की गो मीगो न्यागो याई गो जाया ता धाई तो इले छे चुने बले छे जो या सुनानो छे इंसा या फो था ठी ठी जाला खाला पिने पाखे ना इंसा जी फो इंसा मजी के ता वो मजी का चुने ता गनो गटे थावो ने गो धाई गो बारे प्राटी का भी ज्यान भी आने ना दिसा ने ता राजो लोगडाउन या इले इंसा जूसा एक से नमरे फोन या ना प्रहर या ता वो रास्ते मैला आयोग या हेल्प लाइन एकार से पेटाली से छे ना फोन या ना ठाटा जोगो हिंसा या बारे सुचा भी फई छे वो ट्वाले मुआ मडो भी पासपी सदा वो लागो वास नया लाफु वा ड्यागो या ता धासा सच्ची को चोंगो स्थाने प्रहरी जाकुटी वा एक से नमरे फोन या ना प्रहर या ता सुचा भी आ एक नो शेवा का फई नानी अपलो जाखेले दूब खाकना दिला अजीन जला खाला तेता थोखा सका चित्त ध्यानी नानी चिक्पिने को छे समाजे लगडाउन या इले लेंगी हिंसा जला धासा मोबाइल नमबर अंठानबे एक चालीस त्रियासी उनान साथी बासाथी वो अंठानबे उनान चास छायासी उनान चास चवाली से फोन या ना शेवा कैफ है महिला जागरण तथा विकास केंद्र धुंबा राही का फोन त्रिचाली साठ हत्तर पांच सौ तीस इंसा मया इंसा सहे ना मचोने नो फैलिन नदिनु नै महामारी रोकथामको उत्तम उपाय हो अहिले विश्वलाई नै तहस नहस बनाइरहेको कोरोना महामारीबाट जोगिन खोक्दा वा हाछ्यु गर्दा मुख छोपौ बेलाबेलामा साबुन पानीले मिचिमिची हात धौ हातले अनुहारमा भरसक नछौ मुखमा मास्क लगाऊ वा रुमालले ढाकौ सकेसम्म घरमा वा एक्लै बसेर काम गरौ भिडभाडमा नजाऊ आफन्त वा अरु व्यक्तिसँग भेट्दा तीन चार पाइला परेबाट कुराकानी गरौ हात नमिलाऊ र अंकमाल नगरौ निरंतर जरो आउने सास फेर्ना गारो हुने लगातार छातीमा कष्ट हुने वा अठ्याउने सुखा खोकी लाग्ने र शरीर थकित हुने जस्ता लक्षण देखिएमा हामी कसैलाई कोरोना भाइरस संक्रमण भएको हुन पनि सक्छ नजिकको स्वास्थ्य केन्द्र वा अस्पतालमा तत्कालै सम्पर्क गरौ महामारीबाट बस्न अरु कसैले गरिदिएर पुग्दैन सबै मिलेर गर्नुपर्छ डराएर होइन होशियार भएर ज्यानमा र कोरोना भाइरसलाई गाउँटोलमा छिर्नै नदिउ इन्डिजिनियस कम्युनिटी रेडियो नेटवर्क काठमाडौ Yes, sir. Never 
Kita. Reading and writing four skills and the items included within the skills. Now let me say the weightage in the examination system. Listening carries 10% or 10 marks. Speaking carries 15 marks or 15%. And combining together listening and speaking, what we call oral exam or practical exam of 25 marks. Then comes the most important skill of our English curriculum that is reading. And reading itself carries 40% or 40 marks. And writing 35% or 35 marks. And reading and writing combining together 75% or 75 marks and that what we take the examination of 75 full marks in our written exam. So this is a brief introduction of the content. Now the new topic is about the grid. 1. Listening and what type of listening test items are included. I have already said listening carries 10 marks in the examination and what sort of questions are included within the listening test. First one multiple choice at least three or four options multiple choice. Second one fill in the gaps. Third one true or false item. Fourth one sequencing or ordering. Fifth one matching. And the last one is short answer questions. And uh, normally one sentence or maximum two sentences. each. So the listening items are once again multiple choice. Fill in the gaps. True false items ordering or sequencing items, matching items, and short answer questions. And what happens in a speaking examination? And you are, and this is not a new thing for you, you are already familiar from previous classes. A speaking carries 15 marks, and the types of questions often asked in the examination, speaking examination, practical examination are the first one is general interview and this is uh, just uh, like a warm up activity. What's your name? Where are you from? Give you a short introduction like this and it carries normally three marks and second one is describing pictures, charts, maps or tables. So pictures, charts, maps and tables are given to the students and they are asked to describe the picture, to describe the chart. And third type is narrating a sequence of events. So tell me a short story about the incident or any accident you witnessed or you have seen like this. And the fourth one, last one is speaking on a given topic. For example, topic any topic can be given. Uh, democracy topic is given and you have to speak some sentences about democracy. Library, the topic is given and you have to say something about library. So here, speaking types are only for general interview, describing pictures, charts, maps and tables, narrating a sequence of events and speaking on a given topic. Let's move to reading. So already mentioned reading carries 40 marks and within the reading, so there are two types of questions. 
the first one is scene text scene text so in great 10 english there are altogether 19 units and within the 19 units there are many passages reading passages or reading comprehensions and from all the reading passages and comprehensions only two questions are asked and the first one is of five marks and the second one is of 10 marks and normally the first question is of from the poetry section this is not a rule but the normal tra trend is in sc examination is also the first question is from the poem section and second type of reading text is unseen text unseen text means beyond the book not from the book outside of the book and again there will be two questions and the first question carries 10 marks and the second uh, the last reading question unseen text will be of 15 marks so this shows that seen text is of 5 plus 10 only 15 marks and unseen text 10 plus 15 25 marks and adding together it will be of total 40 marks now comes the question of what are the types of test items included in the reading and the types of test items included in the reading are multiple choice second one is sequencing and ordering or so put the given statements or given sentences in the correct order right order logical order like that and third type is fill in the gaps gap filling fourth one is matching items matching side a with side b and number e is true or false item and last item is short answer questions and previously we had uh, writing synonymous words and antonymous words were the common question in our slc examination but re recently it has been avoided from the grid and no synon synonyms and antonyms are asked nowadays and instead of synonyms and antonyms the question is included in the matching section and lastly types of test items for writing are as i already mentioned you guided writing one from guided writing one there will be one question and it is of five marks second guided writing two again there will be one question from this and its marks is of five marks so this shows that from guided writing there will be two questions of five plus five ten marks altogether and next one is free writing free writing one and free writing one one question of six marks and from free writing two there will be one question of eight marks and finally grammar will be 11 marks and type one reproduction is of six marks and from type two uh, fill in the gaps with the grammatical items in a contextual passage 5 so altogether 5 plus 6 11 marks of grammar and writing 24 plus 11 35 okay students our assigned time is almost finished so I would like to express my sincere thanks and gratitude to technician friend Miss Sarana Marjan for her full support. See you next Monday at 1 p.m. sharp. Have a good day. Stay safe. Thank you very much.